I write a program to create the following pattern. So they want us to create uh, circles like this, one in um, green, uh, red, and another one in the last one is blue. So each has three circles, right? Let's try to create this. So uh, those who do not know what is total graphic graphics, I would request you to refer one of the videos which I have posted before on total graphics. In the total graphics, it is important to import total. Then we should also fix the total screen. So it creates the total dot screen creates a graphics window. Then we see we set the dimension. So it should be 500 uh, cross 500 or 600 cross 600. In fact, you can change this also. The moment you run, you get the screen like this. So you can have a size a window size as you wish. So then we have the name for this uh, total graphics total. So creates a total named Alex. So you can have any name. If you like to have your name, you can have your name. Then we say a total dot Alex dot shape. So we say turtle. So this looks like a turtle. Then uh, we'll move on. So by default, it has block color. It is also possible to change the color. So write the logic to create the given pattern. We'll have to create the pattern like this. Then read another comment. Refer the statements given above. So these statements they are talking about to draw the pattern. Right. So let's try these codes first, then we'll go ahead with others. So I have removed the comment section for the lines 8, 9, 10, 11. So Alex.color, currently it's a block color. So first color we know that. Let's take uh, green color. So I like to take green. Then Alex.right, we want it to turn right 60 degree. Then turn left again, it will come back to the same position. Then Alex.50, which means on the radius of 50, it will draw a circle. Let's run this. Color changes, moves right, then moves left, then draw a circle in the radius of 50. So we need to have four circles. So let's let's uncomment the below loop, then understand how it works. So initially it was black in color, now green, draw a circle, then two circles. But actually we need to have one, two, three, four circles we need to have. Currently, how many circles we have? Only three circles we have. All we need to do is simple. So we know that how uh, for loop works and in range function works. So it takes one and two. One, the moment you mention range of one comma three, it takes value one and two. It does not take two, three. Three is an exclusive. One and two less than three. So this is nothing but it is equal to less than three counter in range uh, 1 less than 3 you will have to consider that way so for first time what happens it draws a circle with a radius of 50 then it draws, it draws a circle in the radius of uh, range function starts with 1 2 3 the function initially counter value is 1 so 20 into 1 so 20 in the radius of 20 draws a circle then counter value becomes 2 and 20 into 2 and then uh, 20 into 2 is a 40 it draws another circles with a radius of 40. That is how it works. 50 range, then 20 range, then 40 range uh, radius. So it draws three circles. Now we want it to draw four circles. So we know for counter in range, 1 comma 4. Okay. So we're done with the four circles. Then we'll have to uh, turn the turtle uh, to meet this direction and draw the circle. So we are done with the first section then we will have to move on for the second red color circles. So now I have changed the Alex color to uh, red then um, uh, after so many tests I found that 120 degree uh, comes to the right uh, position to draw the, these four circles. So I have taken I, Alex dot left 120 then first circle as we did before 50 range we draw a circle then uh, we take a, for the previous example it is counter now I have taken C and T R you can have C also that's not a problem the same way then it moves this direction draws 50 radius circle then draws other three circles let us see how how it works so it draws a green circle change the colors to red then it draws a circle with 50 then uh, 20 40 finally 60 now we need to add in the same way we need to add code for a blue so alex dot color now we'll have to change to blue 
so this is the code we have added for blue color circles so here i have used the variable c it's better to use a variable as a counter because naming convention is really important because the code is not just meant for you uh, some, sometimes later somebody else will use the code so it's better to have a proper names for the variables which you use that is what the InfoTQ courses emphasize on let's run and see the output Yes, we are done with it.